Hi, I'm Ben with Montrose Implement Motorsports, and today we're going to be installing a backhoe on a Massey Ferguson 1739. So stay tuned as we go ahead and connect this. I'm Mike. I'm going to be your cameraman and give you commentary. Let's go. Okay, we've backed our tractor up close to the backhoe, and now we're going to start putting the backhoe back on the tractor. And Ben, what's first step? Well, first step, we're going to take this bypass line off. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that, let a little fluid drip out, and we'll cap it. So we can let that hang like that. Now we're going to go ahead and install the backhoe hydraulic lines. Sometimes there will be a little pressure there, so it may be a little tough. And there may be a little oil come back out, so you want to have a shop rag handy to get that. Just okay. like that. All right, so the backhoe hydraulics are all hooked up. So he's going to go ahead and back into the cradle. And if he's off a little bit, he can use hydraulics from the, uh, the backhoe to reposition the backhoe mainframe. They have two people, one to guide and one to back. Uh, but boy, he, he did that great because it's hard to see that. Okay, he's, he's backed into the cradle. We'll use hydraulics to get the holes lined up and the pins back in. You want to set your parking brake or else you, your, <laughs> your engine will die. And it's a good idea to have the parking brake on anyway. Now, what he's going to do is use the hydraulics to reposition everything to get those pins back in and it's a little bit of a process. Now you see what just happened? He was using the stabilizers to, back, to drop the backhoe into that cradle and the pins should just line up. Shouldn't be any problem getting those pins back in. Let's see if, if that's right. And see, he's using his hydraulics to get the holes lined up there. He'll do that on both sides, but actually after that one hole is lined up, the other one should come close to going in without too much trouble. First side is done. What he's doing right there is using his handle to kind of take the bucket to push the uh, backhoe mainframe into the assembly so he can get that get that pin in and again it takes a little practice to do this and he's he's in just about and the pin's in pin is in the backhoe is We're all attached uh, backhoe is attached all right, and as always, thanks for watching. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and feel free to share with any other tractor enthusiasts. Visit our website at montroseimplement.com. Thanks.